what's up what's up okay what are you guys doing what have i been doing where have i been oh my god do you guys even know i've been like around the world in 80 days okay so listen do you want to know what the number one thing you need in your business is because i am more and more that I talk about this, I'm discovering this, and I look crazy, and I love it, and I really feel like I need to talk to you guys about this. I was at a retreat all weekend. We were talking about this over and over, and so I need to come on and share my wisdom with you guys. OMG. Okay. If you're here joining me, say hi. Tell me where you're checking in from. If you're watching the replay, same Z's. Tell me where you're from. What do you do? What kind of store do you have? I want to hear about it. Um, hi. I'm Emily Benson. I'm the founder. What is my thing? What do I say? I'm the Forbes. Forbes and InStyle featured founder of Stylish and Sex Successful. And I'm the host of the Boots Your Boutique podcast. You guys, I haven't been on live stream for so long that I forgot what I say. <laughs> like, what have I been doing? Oh my God. Number one, I've been running my programs. I have been deep in the trenches with my ladies in Six Degree Blueprint, in my fashion sales consultant boot camp. Like, we have been going through the things, right? We have been busting down our money blocks. Women are having freaking 20K months. They're having 8,200K weeks. They're selling 329 items of their direct selling company product. Like, OMFG, you guys. Like, Things are changing, okay? Do you feel it? Like, things are changing. <sighs> Do you see how excited I'm getting? I can't even. You guys, I love everyone saying hi. Hi, Ashley. Hey, Katie. Hi, Maria from Louisiana. Hey, girl. Hi, Jody. Hi, Julie. Oh, my gosh, amazing. Launching in six weeks. Go, girl. Hi, Amy. Hi, Meryl. Hi, Maria. No, that's Marla. Sorry. That's why I wear my glasses. Okay, you guys, I'm going to share this with my group. If you're not a member of my group, I encourage you to join it is called the Fashion Truck Tribe, and over there, um, I'm not in there much, gonna be real honest, but what I do have is a group of amazing women who wanna share their knowledge and share resources with each other, and um, it's just such a great group for solidarity, you guys. I'm obsessed with the ladies in there. Um, let's talk about it. Okay, so I'm here in Kentucky right now. I'm at my friend's house in Kentucky. We're having a freaking blast. We did yoga, yoga in the backyard. We meditated. We had Thai food for dinner. It was literally the best day ever. I talked to some of my amazing clients who are like good, bad, who knows, but like we're getting them through it, right? Hey. Hi. Oh my God. Hi, Sarah. I miss you too. Okay, so I want to talk about the number one thing that you need in your business, and it is not what you think, okay? So I have been having so many women come to me and say, and, and I, honestly, like I'm not in the fashion truck tribe, like commenting and stuff a lot and like going live, but I'm watching, I watch y'all in there and I know what you're all talking about, right? And so you guys, everyone wants to talk about their Facebook page and the algorithm and Facebook ads and Instagram this and how much should I buy and you guys. Honestly, it's not about all that stuff, okay? It's not about what people tell you you should do, okay? And I'm gonna say this for me too. If I tell you to do something that doesn't feel right, I give you full permission not to do it, okay? Because the deal is, is that you have to feel aligned in your business and in your mission and in your purpose. That's it. If you can do that, you, I guarantee you, you will be successful, okay? Everything I've ever done in my life has felt good. Like it's felt, and I, I like do this when I talk about alignment because it's also like chakra alignment and being aligned with the stars and blah, 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 stuff. But like you guys, here's the thing. If someone tells you something or you think, oh my God, I should do this, but it doesn't feel good, it doesn't feel right, your gut is sort of like, mm, I don't know, then you don't have to do it. Okay, the only thing I want to check in with you guys on is that you don't give in to fear, right? Because there's a difference. There's like, like, so up here is where fear comes from. It comes from our freaking brain. Our brain is constantly trying to fight or flight, fight or flight. Oh my God. Oh my God. Every situation all day. But all we have to do is breathe through that, right? Because when we breathe, we actually tap into universal life force energy that gives us 
the power to tap into our inner guidance system. Because you guys, we all have an inner guidance system, right? Give me some hearts if you have a very powerful inner guidance system, if you like know when your kid is sick, or when you like feel like, oh my gosh, I should call that friend, or um, oh, I feel like this will look great on someone. Like you guys have a really good gut. I know I have a really good gut. I know when I feel some way, when I think something, I know that that is true. I'm getting some hearts. I feel like all of you should be harding it up. Like, <laughs> And here's the thing, if you don't feel like you can trust your gut, if you don't feel aligned with your purpose, you don't feel aligned in your boutique, if you're doing things that don't quite feel right, what do you do? What do you do? It's okay, the dog wants to sit here because I'm talking about good stuff. Um, <laughs> you really want to talk about this, don't you? Dogs, dogs are very aligned though, right? Dogs always trust their gut. Dogs can smell fear. They know when a big storm is coming. They get, they come and comfort you when they know you're sick. They're super intuitive, right? Why are we not more intuitive? Why do we not trust our guts? You want to know why? Because we have things cr like cracking at us all day, like yelling. Like if you watch today, I talked about how um, someone said, oh, um, my husband stopped listening to Howard Stern and he's like happier when he gets home. And I was like, yeah, Howard Stern for him is like being in a negative Facebook group for us, right? We have to shut that off. We cannot allow ourselves to get sucked into the negativity. We cannot allow ourselves to get sucked into the bullshit. I, sorry, I swear. Um, we can't, we just can't allow it because if we're here on this planet and I'm going to like, get, I'm going to go there. Okay. You guys okay with it? I'm going to go there. If we're on this planet at this time to change ourselves change the world create good stuff right and I believe for you guys who own boutiques the good stuff is helping women feel really good in getting dressed right how many of you out there give me some hearts if you call yourself a stylist if you love putting outfits together you absolutely love when come, someone comes into your store and they walk out feeling different because of how you've helped them how you've made them feel so good that is the work we are here to do, ladies. My friends, we are here to change the world through helping women feel good in their bodies, good in their skin, and good in clothes. And I'm getting a ton of hearts because you know this is true. You know this is true. And so, like, here's the thing. I'm getting chills. Okay, I'm getting chills. Because here's the thing is when you do things that aren't aligned with that mission, that don't feel good to you, that don't feel right, that aren't... It, normally, A, they don't work because they're not aligned, right? And number two, they just make you feel shitty. And you're just like, oh, that doesn't feel right, you know? I am learning to work 100% from my gut, and that's it. My, my intuition is what guides me through my entire life. And like, my intuition is nailing it lately. Like, I am hanging out with really cool people. I'm having great opportunities come my way. I am making more money than I've ever made before, and I'm helping women. That's literally, I wake up and I'm like, how can I serve my people today? How can I help them, right? That is what I live for. It makes me so happy. So you guys, if you are not waking up in your boutique every day and you're thinking, how can I help the women who, who I've met, who I haven't yet met, then you need to be doing that every day when you wake up. It's not about, oh my God, I hope I make money today. Oh my God, I hope people walk in the store. Oh my God, I hope my Facebook post is good. I hope, oh, should I be running Facebook ads? Like, stop. Shut that shit down, okay? Your number one focus as a boutique owner is how can I serve the women who I touch every day and who haven't been able to come and be touched by me yet? That sounds bad. Touched? I don't mean it that way. Touch them all. Touch all the ladies! <laughs> oh my god, but you guys know what I mean, right? Okay, like this is what our mission on this planet is. It is to help women feel good. And if you're not aligned with that, like if I say to you, you should shut your Facebook group down, and you're like, you know what, I don't want to do that, Emily, don't fucking do it. Oh, I, I keep swearing. Don't freaking do it, okay? But if you feel like my Facebook group sucks and I'm not selling in anything in it and it's not working and I have to revive my dead Facebook group, be done with it. Do something that feels more aligned. Do not do, <laughs> thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Rowena. If you feel like 
you know what someone said to me on a call today they're like well I'm doing Instagram and I'm doing these three these four things are like what's bringing me customers right but then when we really got into it she was like well actually Instagram I don't really like and I was like then stop freaking doing Instagram I haven't posted on Instagram in a month and a half and I'm still making a bunch of money no one gives a crap right like let's do this <laughs> I know <laughs> I love swearing I always swear when I get really excited you guys so I'm glad you're okay with it, Melanie. Um, and that's the thing is, if something does not feel aligned with you, whether I say it or some other expert says it, or you hear it on a podcast or you hear, if it feels icky to you, you don't have to do it. But please don't let that stop you from doing something, right? Please don't stop that from, from having you do something that does feel aligned. And if you don't know what feels aligned, then you need to stop and sit and meditate. You need to stop and listen to your thoughts, okay? If you are not stopping and listening to what is coming through, what is coming through, like vomiting out of your heart. <laughs> Christine is dying laughing over there, you guys. Um, if you are not listening to what is vomiting out of your heart, then you need to stop and listen to what's vomiting out of your heart. Look, I'm at Christine's house. Hey! Hey! Christine is actually, Christine, I just checked our SoundCloud and um, Christine, mm, we're doing whales. Christine, you guys, has the most listened to <gasps> podcast on the Booster Booty podcast. Yes! <laughs> My best friend, Christine. <laughs> Business bestie, Benson. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You guys, she was on episode three called, what is it, How to Leave Your 9 to 5? Yeah, How to Leave Your 9 to 5. How to Leave Your 9 to 5. <laughs> Yeah. I'll cuss because it's been since. <laughs> you guys. Okay, so this is what happens when you're so passionate about, right? Is like you get to do what you like. Like I was like, I'm gonna go visit Christine. We're gonna do yoga in the backyard. And I got all these awesome ideas when we were doing yoga and meditating. And we've only met two times in person. The first yeah. time was in Paris. In Paris. Paris, France. There is a Paris, Kentucky. I live in Kentucky, but not that Paris. Paris, France. Paris, the France. Original OG. Paris mm -hmm. and now here and like this is all possible because we've been following our passions we've been following Christine's business actually she started her business and named it life with passion and I was so jealous I was like that is the best effing name ever like I want to name my business that and um, but I couldn't because she but was my stylish friend stylish and successful is so cool and it like That's comes up in a too. google search when you basically search Emily then it's like so, really yeah Woo. Okay, so, yes. Rowena wants to know what I sniffed. What did I sniff? It's rose. Which it's is rose. Like the most valuable, most precious essential oil because it takes 22 pounds of rose petals to distill like five of them. 22 pounds, you guys, of I, rose. I have a client who's an essential oil. Rose, oh. Bulgarian 3% dilution. Yep. Nature's oil, Rowena. Okay, I'm glad this is what people are needing to hear. I think everyone needs to hear it because you guys, listen, tonight is the harvest full moon. So it is your time right now. I want all of you to get off this live stream when I'm finished. And I want you to write down what you want for the next 30 days. What do you want to happen? How do you want to live your life? How are you going to start showing up for your people? How are you going to start showing up for yourself? One of the things I've dedicated myself to is taking care of myself, like taking really good care. That's why I haven't been on this live stream because I, because I've been with my clients. I've been working with my clients and I have to dedicate myself to them and then taking care of myself. That's it. Okay. But I had to come on here tonight because I was in meditation all weekend at this retreat. And every, I want to tell you that 34 women at this retreat are all working to become more aligned. Like this is not just a boutique issue. This is not an entrepreneurial issue. This is not a business issue. This is a life human issue of becoming more aligned with what you want to live, how you want to live, how life is going. And the fact that you can decide what you want your life to be is what it's all about you guys. Okay. Like you only get what you want because you define what you want. And so many of us have never defined what we wanted. I mean, I do all the time, but I find with clients and I find with so many of the women I work with I'm like what do you want and they're like I don't know so please Julie happy freaking birthday yeah girl Julie Walker get it so like if you are not let me just look at these comments hi Stephanie Amy Rose is amazing oh my god I love it yes Amy thanks Megan yeah Ellen Michelle I love you too Kim says dead groups are an extra burden especially if you don't like it I'm much happier without it 
Yes, yes. And listen, my Facebook group only works because you guys all want to be in it and you guys all want to help each other. I'm not in there like doing like themes of the day and shit. Like I, that's not my thing. You guys, I, I, I said, I hire, I love Holly and I will pay her as much as it takes literally to get her to run that Facebook group and like make sure it's okay and like accept people. Cause like, I don't like it. Like I don't like, I don't love Facebook groups. I don't, I like, it's not me. It's like hiding in a Facebook group. You know what I mean? So if you're not aligned, Hey Sophia, if you're not feeling aligned, here's what you need to do. Number one, you need to get quiet. You need to get really quiet. What does that mean? It means just go for a long drive. People always think meditating, you need to like sit and be like, oh, like no. Go for a long drive and listen to some fun music and sing, right? Go for a long walk, go for a run. Um, you could totally sit and meditate. You could do some yoga. You could go to a great workout class. Um, what else would be meditation? Anything that gets your mind to slow down. That is meditating, okay? So get quiet. Two is listen and ask questions. So when I'm stuck on something or I, I'm feeling like I'm questioning something, I literally ju will just be like, help me with this problem. I don't really know who I'm asking. Maybe God, maybe the universe, maybe Krishna, maybe Buddha. I don't know who it is. My angels, I don't know. But what I know is when I when I get the question, when I get the energy out of my like out of my body, then the answer shows up. Like it always shows up, okay? And sometimes it shows up in unexpected ways. But I'm willing to ask the question and I'm willing to listen to the answer. And three is you have to take action on what that alignment is, right? So when you hear that answer, when you hear, when you see the vision, when you like get on that roll, you effing do it. You don't let your brain get in the way. You don't let what other people say get in the way, especially if they don't agree with you. Be like, bye. And you take action and you do it. So get quiet, listen and ask the questions and just go freaking do it, you guys, okay? Like that's the deal. Um, Amber asks, how do you sell online only with a, without a Facebook group? I don't, I don't want one and everyone tells me you need to sell online only. Okay, here's the deal. There's this thing called Facebook business pages and it's what you're, what you're watching me on right now. Okay, this is a Facebook business page. A business page, you need a personal account to have, but once you have a personal account, you can open as many business pages as you want. I still own, and I don't really operate, my old fashion truck business page. Maybe you saw me over there, maybe you've seen that page. I only ran my business on that fashion truck business page, and I made thousands of dollars through that business page, okay? There was no such thing as groups when I started. Do you know why groups started? And I'll tell you right now. Groups started because in 2013, or whatever, 2014, when LuLaRoe decided to become a direct selling company, they said, we don't, I don't know why they said it. I'm not gonna go that far to understand why the hell they did this. But they said, you can only sell in groups. You can only sell in groups. And because someone made that choice in LuLaRoe, now everyone thinks they have to have a Facebook group and everyone thinks that's the only option. And like, we've seen how that went down in LuLaRoe, haven't we? Not really working out all the time, right? All their people are moving to business pages. Some people it works for, don't get me wrong. Don't hate me, because some people it works for, okay? It, work, it works for some people, I get it. But like, I hate Facebook groups. I think they're so stupid to sell in. Show up on your business page, show up in an aligned way, and like, go kick butt. Like, sell shit on your Facebook page. End of story, okay? That's what I do. I made a lot of money in July when I sold my six-figure blueprint course on my Facebook business page, right? Hello, okay? Like, this is not hard, guys. What's hard is up here, is you're letting your brain get in the way. You're letting what everyone else is doing and what everyone else is saying to you get in the freaking way of being aligned and living your passion and, and getting excited about your business, okay? Like, this is the problem. It's not the Facebook algorithm. Blah. Like, it's none of that. I feel like I just did a Donald Trump thing. I'm really sorry. It's not the Facebook freaking algorithm. Stop bitching about it. Show up. Listen, I'm going to tell you the formula. And again, if this doesn't feel aligned, don't do it. I don't care. Okay? 
I literally don't care. Christine's dying because I literally don't care what you do. Do whatever the hell you want, okay? As long as it feels good to you. That's what my point is, right? If you want to be a pumpkin, be a pumpkin. <laughs> be a unicorn. Be a dog. I don't care. I really don't care. But I want you to be successful, okay? So all of you who are strategy obsessed, here, I'm going to give you I'm gonna give you what I would do, right? I would post once or twice a day on Facebook, sometimes something for sale, like a flat lay or a product image or something like that. I would post a quote or something fun, a fun article, a fun video. I would share something fun. Um, I would do that once or twice a day. Post something with a picture and text, whatever, okay? Once a week, I would go live. That's what I do. I have 48 of you right here watching me go effing crazy on this live stream. 48 of you are watching me because that's the exact strategy I've taken, okay? And I'm real and I'm aligned and I am always telling you guys the freaking truth, right? Always. I'm always telling you the truth and you love that. And here's the thing is if you do that with your people, if you hold up this pillow and you're like, I freaking love this pillow. I need this sequin in my life. Oh my God, do you see how fluffy it is? You can even turn it over and sleep on this side. Okay, like people are gonna wanna buy this because you love it, okay? That's what I'm saying. So this is not hard, okay? Julie's saying she needs to do the live thing. A lot of you guys are saying things. Let me just read what you're saying. Preach it, girl. Vanessa, I literally only want you to be awesome. You're totally right. Um, love my bids page. You love my top. Thank you very much. It's actually like a long kimono that I wear. It's a beach cover-up as well. It's very versatile. It's like a kimono thing. It ties. Um, clothes groups. Yes, Emily Patricia. Group started because LuLaRoe had rules about public selling. And I'm going to keep my opinion to myself about that. But clearly I think it was the wrong idea. Okay, so let's not let them decide what we should all do. Brittany, you're working to move your main base to a business Facebook page. Boom, Brittany, get it, girl. I'm proud of you. Do what feels aligned. Okay. Love my biz page. Everyone hates groups. Also, you guys, I hate when people like add me to groups. That was a thing for a while until I was like, I'm blocking you. I actually don't even want to be your friend anymore, so stop. I have two business pages and my one barber shop and one Andy. Yeah, girl, go Julie. I sell items to customers in person. And I give them a card and ask them to go on Facebook and like my page and they take no action. It's frustrating. Okay, Trish, so why don't you have them do it in person for a discount? Say, listen, if you go to my business page right now and you like my page, then um, I will give you 10% off your purchase today. Also, Trish Detrini, I would tell you that you are doing the wrong thing by giving them a business card. You need to get their email because I don't know about you, but I have a shit ton of business cards and I like lose them. But if you said to me, hey, listen, if you sign up for my email list or you like my business page right now, I'll give you 10% off. Boom. You're going to win. Okay. It is not about saying, oh my God, please here, take this. It's about being like, give me your, give me your info. I want to be your friend. I want to make lots of friends and I want to make lots of money, right? Okay, I need like water. I'm dying. Is my bottle over there? Huh? My bottle of water is, I think, in my room. Okay. Hi, Meryl. Julie. Okay, amen. So glad I stumbled upon you. Emily, I'm so glad you found me too. Um, you've fallen down my rabbit hole. Well, listen, there is a lot of glitter and sparkles in this um, rabbit hole, so it's going to be like a super party. Don't worry. Okay, Julie, I don't know why I can't do live. I need to be the center of attention. I don't know why I can't do this. It be Julie, you can't do it because you keep telling yourself you can't do it, okay? I want you to, for the next week to say, I am someone who always crushes it on Facebook Live, okay? That is your new mantra, Julie. And anyone else watching who has trouble doing anything, the reason you are not doing it is because you're telling yourself you can't. Like I said, our minds are very powerful. They can screw us up. I mean, I think we all know that. But listen, that is the deal, okay? So so Julie Walker and anyone else that's nervous to do Facebook Live, I need you for the next week to say, and I quote, I am the type of person that does Facebook Live and crushes it. That's a good one, right? Approve. Okay. That's good. Guys, look at my new water bottle. It has crystals on the bottom. Pretty cool, right? So all my water gets charged with these crystals. This company is called Vibes Up. Vibes Up. 
and it's a metal water bottle with a plastic cap, which I love because I hate drinking metal near my teeth. So anyway, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, Megan says, I'm learning so much from you. I just started my business this month and I raised my profit margin because of you. Yes, Megan, make it more friends, make it more money. Yes. I love that. Okay, Jackie, you always fire me up. I need this first thing in the morning. Well, Jackie, if I got up first thing in the morning, I would do that, but I don't. I'm gonna be really honest. I like to stay up late, and I like to sleep in because I don't love the morning. I mean, I shouldn't say that. I'm the type of person who is learning to love the morning. I got I got up really early for like the past week. Yeah, you did. You know, so maybe I'll do some live streams in the morning, Jackie. You never know. Okay. Emma, it is a nice looking pillow, Emma says. Christine, Emma likes your pillow. It's like really cute, right? Yeah. Christine's house is like so cute. I feel like it's much cuter Hi, Sunday. Like Good to see you. Thank you. Jen, I've done it and it works. Awesome. Excellent idea, says Amy. Of course it is. I have a business page where I get little to no interaction, says Amber. Amber, if you have a business page and you go, don't get interaction, it's because you're not asking engaging questions. You're not posting things that your people like. Also, what I would say is if you're under 500 likes, it's gonna be really, it's gonna be like hard to get people going. So try to get your likes up. Have people share your posts, um, talk about your like. Also guys, if you don't have your business page linked to your personal profile, I need you to go do that. I need you to go to your personal Facebook profile. And no, I see that Christine's laughing, but I see this all the time. I go to, I click on women's names in, in Facebook groups. Yeah, and it's like, I'm like, what are you trying to hide the fact that you're like, you're an awesome businesswoman? Like, that's annoying. So listen, I need you to go to your Facebook personal profile and go into your about and say, edit your about and say works at, like your employer, okay, is going to be works at your business page name. Okay, I need you all to do that after this live stream. Also, your other homework is to write down what you want tonight to happen for the next 30 days. Okay, and I want you to keep that on, I want you to keep that on like your, I don't know, somewhere you're going to see it a lot. I'll just say that. Rena, yes, I don't like being out in my groups. I'm probably like 10 miles behind the comments. I'm sorry. Um, I'm transitioning out of my group and I never randomly added people. Yes, you did. You did it the right way. Because you're an upstanding Facebook citizen, Rowena. Awesome, Trish. Absolutely put it into action. Loving that. Word, says Michelle. Julie says, I crush it at the barbershop. Yeah, I bet you do, girl. Um, of course you do. So why are you holding back in Agnes and Dora, Julie? Right? Like, this is the thing. is somehow fear is getting in the way of you showing up. So I need you to do what I said about being aligned. I need you to sit and be quiet. I need you to ask, why am I not showing up on live stream? Why am I not showing up on live stream? Why am I not showing up? I mean, I'm showing up tonight and my hair is like crazy. My like skin is broken out because I like went to a retreat and felt like all the feelings this weekend. And of course it like all came out of my body. And so, but I'm still showing up because I know you guys need to hear this, right? So like, what is the mission that needs to be heard? Why are you not showing up in Agnes and Dora, Julie, okay? And then I need you to take action, okay? Marla, you did it and you didn't die. Yeah, girl. Hi, Jennifer. Good to see you. Oh, you did Facebook Live, Marla. Marla, you guys, let's hear from Marla. She did Facebook Live and she did not die. We're all clapping. You guys aren't going to die, right? Hey, Sarah, girl, you crushed it. Of course you did. You did your live. Way to go, Sarah. Night Owl here, too. I just did a pick a pumpkin post for a prize and did tons of interaction and sold four dresses in one day. Pick a pumpkin. That sounds so cute. I love that. How that's seasonal. Angie, I follow you a lot and wanted to share. We just had our first company retreat and I made the top six reps. So thank you for your tips. Yes. I'm going to wake the baby up. Okay. Angie, I am so, so proud of you. Congratulations. You totally deserve to be in the top six reps. You're probably working your butt off. That's so amazing. I'm so glad I had a part. Thank you. I received that. It's so amazing. <sighs> you guys. Oh my God. I love you guys. Um, Meryl, I only have 58 likes on my business page. So Meryl, I need you to get those business page likes up, okay? I need you to talk more about your business page, either on your personal page or in some horse groups, or I need you to like talk more about it, okay? I want you to get that number up to like 100. I want you to get that number up to 100 by November. Challenge. Rowena, like in the movie, if you build it, they will come. And Facebook lingo, if you show up, they will say yes. And we have been talking about this with a lot of clients. A lot of my clients are talking about, if I just show up, then everything works. Right? So like, here's the deal. How are you not showing up in your business? What does that look like for you? That's the question for you guys all this week, okay? 
You got to get out and do it, Julie. You got to do it. You got to do it. Meryl, I told you how to get more. You're not going to die. People, I had gallbladder surgery Tuesday, and I've done lives both yesterday and today. Okay, Amy, also, make sure you rest, okay, girl? Um, just got done doing bingo live, 10 minutes. You can all do this. No more limiting beliefs, yes. Amy, you're a goddamn rock star. <laughs> Please don't die, though, and collapse, okay? <laughs> I love you so much. That's amazing. You guys, Ashley. Uh, I love Amy. It's amazing. Okay, you guys, it's 10 o'clock. I need to go meditate because the moon is full and bright. I gotta whip out the crystals and the oils and stuff. You know how I do, right? Water bottle with crystals. Because I'm manifesting some really big things this year. You guys, I have, what do we have? October, November, December. We have like less than 90 days less in the year left in the year and I am gonna manifest some BFS that's big freaking stuff okay and so I would like you all to get off this live stream and go write down what you want okay ask the universe the universe doesn't listen because you're not telling it what you want okay 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 good I'm glad Amy I'm glad you've rested okay I just like you know I just worry because like I have self-care things too so oh, what was the name on the water bottle okay you guys this is the name it's vibes up okay like i said i'm gonna promote this product because i love it um it's crystals on the bottom so it's a whole bunch of crystals that are like charged right this is metal which i love because you know we shouldn't be drinking out of plastic but i actually like that the top is plastic because um i don't like drinking metal on my teeth and actually it's cool you can press it once and it's just like a little bit locked and then you can really clicking in it comes with the carabiner so vibes up you guys here we go it's um the website is vibesup.com slash bottle and um it says here it's so cute it has this cute little marketing thing on it that's like always on it it says a bottle with a nice butt <laughs> generates 1 million rays of natural energy per second can help infuse essential oil flower and gem therapy to drinks food even ouches so yeah, she also had she also said if you want to like raise your heart chakra, you can actually like put this the crystals right on your heart chakra and it can like help charge your heart chakra. Pretty cool, right? I obviously went to like a super hippy dippy retreat in Sedona to get something like this. Um, but it's super cool, right? How beautiful is that? So and it's like thick, you know, it's like in plastic. So anyway, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I love all of you so much. Um, I just really I desire so deeply for you all to be super successful and to have these like beautiful lives and so I hope that by sharing on Facebook live you get to do that um awesome Courtney you have rocks too in your pocket I love that I have all my crystals in a little Chanel bag it's a little bougie but I like it um okay I love you guys so much um please let's go write down what we want for the next 90 days okay amazing um yes I'll talk to you guys soon Love you so much. Here's to making lots of friends and making lots of money. Woo! Bye.